Record? No? Okay. And yeah, we almost had a Kentucky ballistic accident because, uh, dude, that fucking case cracked wide open, man. I've never seen the head do that. No. Yeah, it literally cracked the whole way back through there. Because it was tough to get. I'm like, why is the bolt not opening? But it, uh, gun appears to be okay. But, uh, yeah, that was scary. Scary. Okay, so today we got some good ammo, some good guns, some good targets, and this guy. Hey. <laughs> seriously, I got a bunch of 50 BMG ammo today. I'm going to try it out, my new target. And then I got this stuff. I really want to try it out. This is Gray Tip 54R, which is Armor Pearson Incendiary, even though you're not allowed to use them on YouTube. Did you know that? Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. And then I got some a pit rounds which these guys they're like the best for 50 bmg ammo they got 10 of them for i think 36 dollars that these are new they had remands i think for 30 dollars uh for a pack of, pack of 10 which is awesome then i got these this is like uh this has different ones it has ap uh, incendiary ball and api armor piercing incendiary allegedly and then I got just some AP rounds. And then I think in here I got some, I got an AMAX around here too somewhere. And then I got some A-pips, some incendiaries, some APs. I think actually the, uh, I want to open that up. I think it's in there. In one of these. There's an AMAX bullet. Oh, there she is. Dude, these things here, if you shoot 50 BMG, you ever shoot one of these, man? No. Dude, these things are insane. I heard they're really accurate. Yeah, they, I mean, they're aluminum tip. Uh, a core, I, I guess, would probably be aluminum too. I'm not sure. But man, you hit someone and they fucking explode. <laughs> so, I mean, they're devastating. Uh, so we're going to get the, we're going to shoot the 54R first. Maybe his Mauser at the steel. We'll see what it does. And then we'll step up to the BMG. Hopefully it's sighted in. So we'll see. All right, so we have, uh, I think it's, Eighth inch steel, maybe quarter altogether. First is just gonna be a regular full metal jacket, and then these are the armor piercing incendiary rounds. So we'll see what it does to the smaller plates first. Should go through both of them. Okay, first is full metal jacket. That's gotten so loud, man. I felt that from here. <laughs> Our piercing incendiary. Ooh, incendiary action. Yeah. Okay, hold on. All right, John's gonna shoot the just the single plate and then the big plate too. Whenever you're ready, brother. Woo! That was a good flash on that one, man. It hit it hard. It's still swigging. So we couldn't figure out where that one hit on there, but this one. It's like part of the metal now. It like drilled itself in there. It's like flush. Or it just scraped it or something. That was pretty cool. Alright, we'll try the 8mm and then we'll step up to the BMG. This guy here wants a test shot. What? You, you get no test shot. Get two rounds. Two rounds. How, what, what a 198 grain or? 196. 196. Soft, 196. Points. soft points. Okay. So we don't think they'll do too much to the metal, obviously, but you know, it's an 8mm, man. See if his gun sighted in. That's the main thing. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. There you go. That a boy. They do hit hard. No, oh, that a boy. That was a good shot there, man. See? Perfect. Okay. So we're just gonna try uh, 50 BMG, just ball ammo. I started sighting this gun in. I can't remember if it's on or not. So. No test shots. No test shot. Pure in the raw. I'll go for the white target first here. Woo! I think I got it. <laughs> right. Let's go check it out. It's all cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do we got here? I'm going to pop in, uh, hey, fuck it, we got an A-pit round. Let's go an A-pit round. This is armor piercing. Armor piercing. Incendiary tracer. Probably won't see much of the tracer now, but. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, the gun's shooting high, just like me, and then uh, to the right, unlike me. But no, I am to the right. Oh, you're, oh I'm left. Yeah. Huh? yeah we'll, just, we'll, we'll ignore that. So yeah, anyway, this is pretty hard steel, uh, but 8mm, full metal jackets do go through it. So we'll try to set it up, we'll adjust the scope, shoot this again, some, some shit, and then we'll hit that too also. For luck, I think the safety's off. <laughs> yeah, all right, we adjusted the scope, and John's going to try it out, ball ammo, see uh, if we were right or wrong. Whenever you're ready, brother. Woo! <laughs> if I trust this mangled tip. I told him it's just a tip, dude. So this is one of them spotter tracer rounds, good old explodey explodey bullets, and I'm letting John shoot it cause in case it explodes. My life's more valuable than his. In Minecraft. Ooh, okay, whenever you're ready, brother. Ready? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that thing actually scared me a little bit. I thought it was coming back or something. I know. <laughs> yeah, I could. Yeah, definitely. So we're getting way, we're getting way too many holes in these plates. I understand completely what's going on, but I think it went through. I think it went through both of them. Style. That was pretty impressive, man. That's hell of a flash too. Wood too. Yeah, it did. It all kinds of fucked. I built all kinds of slugs back here somewhere. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna explode you around. Holy <laughs> hell, man! <laughs> Dude, that plate's heavy. It didn't fucking wrap it, man. So yeah, I'm really impressed. I knew like the box would probably be okay, but I thought for sure the chain was gonna break. I know that's a weak link and and the hanger too, but it uh get out shadows here somehow. And uh I mean it fucking moved that plate and ripped the ground up. That was pretty cool. So we'll try like an A-pit round on it next, see if it does anything. Okay, we're going with an A-pit round on the big plate. Maybe just hold a hair to the left, John. Yeah. It's shooting all this different ammo it shoots different. Ready? Yep. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> He's seen a tracer in that one, man. <laughs> that one recoiled different. Did it? I don't know why, but I felt like my chest slammed into the ground. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we got bald baldage. Uh, it did it didn't go through, but it uh, almost <laughs> it almost went through. If we had this sitting on something solid, I think it would go that through. That's a hell of a hole. And we put a plate down here and caught some metal, some shrapnel. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're giving the good old BMG a nice workout today. We got uh, just a regular black tip AP in it. We're gonna you're gonna try to hit the same hole. Try it. It's gonna be hard. You got a half inch there to do. So whenever you're ready, brother. Did you get it? Close. I, yeah, it's close. So, I mean, he was, I mean, that was almost hole for hole. He's going to try it again. Whenever you're ready, bada. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I seen it flip around. Dude, you're hitting like so close. That's right on top. <laughs> yeah. So, we got penetration. Just a tip, buddy. Just a tip. <laughs> but that is the actual steel core inside of a 50 BMG. They're hard. Is that, Probably carbide. Yeah, probably. It's still so pointy, man. So, the regular AP rounds do better, I think, than the A-pits and stuff. Yeah. But that's so cool, man. Because I could see the... Over here. <clears throat> you can see it in there. I can't on camera, but it's in there. Huh. Okay, he's going to do a mag dump challenge with a Mauser. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Ah, oh, that was good, though. You got it, man. <laughs>